Everybody gone. If I got any stake in the Green That's Bay right. Packers, I want the CEO fired. I want the general manager fired. We go start from the bottom and work our way back up. I want them all fired because there's nowhere in the world Aaron Rodgers should have been unhappy and ready to leave. I think Kenny Mayne made a um I think this may have been Kenny Mayne's last um last sports center. But um I don't know. Aaron Rodgers joined this is what Sports Center said. Aaron Rodgers joined Kenny Mayne for his final sports center. Aaron Rodgers was quoted as saying, I'm just here so I won't get fined. I'm just here because it's your last show and that's the only reason I'm here. That was what was stated. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers to Kenny Main. I'm going to state this right fast. What he said. I want y'all to hear this. All right. This is what Aaron Rodgers said when asked the whole question. I want y'all to hear this through and through. Um, Here it is right here, y'all. Let me know if y'all can hear it. In my situation, look, it's, it's never been about, uh, you know, never been about the draft pick. Picking Jordan, I love Jordan. He's a great kid. Um, you know, he, he a lot of fun to, to work together. Uh, I love the coaching staff. Love my teammates. You know, love the fan base in Green Bay. It's incredible, incredible. Sixteen years. It's just kind of about a, a, a philosophy, and, you know, and and maybe forgetting that it is about the people that make the thing go. It's about it's about character. It's about culture. It's about doing things the right way. And a lot of this was put in motion last year. And, uh, the wrench was just kind of thrown into it when I won MVP and played the, the way I played last year. So this is just kind of, I think, uh, the, the spill out of all that. But, look, man, it is about the people. That's the most important thing. Green Bay has always been about the people, from Curly Lambeau uh, being owner and founder to the 60s with Lombardi and Bart Starr and all those incredible names, to the 90s teams with Coach Holmgren and Farvey and the Minister of Defense to the, the run that we've been on. It's about it's about the people. Hold on, hold on. It's rep your side. But before you do anything, make sure to like and subscribe. Show my guy Big Dog some love. And show my guy Rizzo some love as we rep your side and as you rep your side in the comment section. Comment down below what you think on our thoughts. See you later. Rep your side. Yeah, so... He was saying it was about the people. He said he never had an issue with Jordan. Uh, Jordan Love, he said he's had a lot of fun. But uh, one thing that was stated, um, this was quoted by, I'm um, quoting this by NFL Updates on Twitter. Shout out to them. They said he said uh, a lot of stuff about the fan base, the love, Jordan Love, and all that. But one thing that he did not mention was the Packers front office. <laughs> that wasn't by mistake. He didn't mention the Packers front office. He didn't mention the coaching staff. He didn't mention any Damn. Yeah, I did not. I was well, he did say the coaching staff. He said the coaching staff. He said the coaching did staff. He? Yeah. I didn't hear him say that. And this is what, to recap, this is what happened. Aaron Rodgers said he loves his teammates, including Jordan Love, the coaching staff, the fan base. No mention of the Packers front office. That right. wasn't by mistake. That was quoted. I'm quoting this by NFL Update. Shout out to them. Uh, NFL Update on Twitter, man. They are some of the, that is some of the best stuff to check out when it comes to NFL news. NFL Update is always on it. Um, but uh, that was what was stated. What, 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 first impressions. What's y'all got? I already told you my impression from the beginning. Y'all the ones keep believing that that man is going to stay. That man is not going to stay. He's out of Green Bay. Yeah. I tell you what, the first day of training camp, he don't show up, you know he out. Yeah. I believe he's out, though. I really believe he's out. Yeah. And this is the first yeah. interview mm -hmm. I believe Aaron Rodgers gang, get, uh, did. Rizzo, you can uh, quote me on this. I believe this is the first interview he did since this in since this rift came up between him and Green Bay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is not. That's what I was like. I, I was wondering when he was going to actually, you know, come out and speak about it. This is really, yeah, this is the first thing. That's why I'm like, Aaron Rodgers is giving an interview right now on um, Sports Center because I was shocked to see him up there. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> I think he had to come out this time, though, because TMZ reported that he was in Hawaii dancing, having a good time. 
And Let, uh, can, I, can I say this? this uh, is, some, people are, this is, some people are stating on. that he wasn't at that, that uh, mandatory OTA is because he was at a wedding in Hawaii. Uh, and they're trying to say that media is spinning it a certain way, but they're saying- Well, regardless of how they're spinning it, but I, that, that's what I'm saying. This is like the first time he ever missed this. OTA. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 16 you know years, 15 years right. straight. And right. this is the first time you missed it. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not buying the wedding thing. Yeah, I'm not buying that either because you know as well as I do, Aaron Rodgers already knew when this wedding was going to be. If it's somebody close to him, he knew the date. It would have been the same day LTA. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's that's what I'm saying. So I, I, I'm not buying that part of it. They can spend it however the hell they want to spend it. I believe the man is gone and he's showing y'all he's gone. So you might as well just get prepared for it. As like I said, as being a fan for for um for that team for so long, I'll never forget. You know, the last season we had Jordy Nelson. I think it was about 2017, which I think we had a losing season that season. All I could think about was, are they going to get him help? Are they going to get him help? And that was 2017. It's 2021, and help still hasn't been. I mean, finally we do have a little help in this draft. Still, that was four years ago, four years ago that I was thinking that, and we just now getting the help. I'm and so much my, away, we're still I, I, making it to the NFC Championship. We're still, you know, clinching the division or whatever. And I, I just, like I said, I think the, the problem is with Green Bay is they need to come with a true owner, a true owner who's actually running that team, and then I believe Green Bay will get over the hump. But Green Bay can't time. have an owner. They can have. I mean, let's, 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 let's be honest. Why would they need a? Why would they need a true owner, big dog? When they have one like this before, they. Uh, what Green Bay has five? How many? One championship. Four? One. Four. No, no, no. Four oh. in total. And we talk yeah, about. Oh, you talking about in total? I'm thought you talking yeah. about with uh, Aaron Rodgers. One. Right. I mean, oh. it isn't. It isn't the owner thing. It, because we see the limelight of um of famous owners, Jerry Jones. He hasn't won in a while. In right. A while. Green Bay's owners so this are is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is is just when you got so many inputs with Green Bay, the way everything's set up, you got too many people putting their inputs in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you have an owner, that owner is gonna make that final decision. They do have an acting chair though. I believe they, they don't have, have a, they don't they got a yeah, they got a CEO. Yeah, they got a CEO. He mm -hmm. ain't making no damn decision. Yeah. If he was making a decision and then you coming out, how much we love Aaron Rodgers, he not going nowhere, he could stay here. This wouldn't have never happened. You wouldn't have drafted Jordan Love. You wouldn't have. You could have went and got a quarterback. But you could have waited in the later rounds to pick up a quarterback if you needed somebody to back up Aaron Rodgers. You should have went out there and got that man some help. This is no excuse. You did the same thing with Brett Favre. You're doing the same thing with Aaron Rodgers. Look at the and season. Both Look on their 15th season. Yes. And y'all, this is like routine for y'all. Routine for y'all. No, I, I disagree with that. I Like I said before, you need to bring in a real owner that owns that team that he can get somebody in there to run that team and know exactly what they're doing. That's what I think Green Bay needs to do right now. You're saying they just need a solid figure to write the I need shield. that. That's what, that's what they need. That's what they need. They ain't going to stop tradition. Nah, the not fans been that. owning that team since the beginning. You can't tell them that they, they cannot be changed. owners no yeah. more of a team. NFL like can tell them that they cannot be owners anymore. Nah, that, yes, that, they would be, that would be a Hold on. Listen, they didn't, they, 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 they did it. How many times they did it? They have stakes in the money, though. They have stakes in that their ownership. It's too late. It's been there for some X amount of years. And they'll pay their ass off when you sell a team. You get paid off when you sell a team. If the NFL owners vote on someone buying the Green Bay Packers, it will happen. Just like they did it in basketball. Who? What owner? Wasn't it one of the owners they forced out of football? They made them sell the football team. Oh, you talking about uh, the Clippers, dude? The the one that, that was basketball. That was basketball. I Racist. thought it was. I thought it was one. Uh, in that football was basketball. Too. No, it was not. I football. thought it was a lady or some. Sterling. Yeah. Okay, that was Sterling. Okay. Now they were trying was... to force out Dan Snyder from Washington. That didn't happen. And they was trying to force they was going to force out old boy from New York too until he turned it around. What are you talking about? 
uh, what's his name? Dolan. Dolan owns. Yeah, the but New that's York Knicks. that's basketball though. Basketball is different from the football. You gotta think yeah. about it. Yeah, but you I'm saying about, you know. I thought it was a woman or something owning a football team, and they forced her out because all they need no, is the no. majority of the owners to vote on it, and they would have to sell the team. Not that no, I may be wrong, but not to, uh, not to my knowledge. And I know in basketball they oh, had, uh, like you said, Donald Sterling. I know about that issue. Um, so yeah. Not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. That's all okay. I say. Not not to my knowledge. I won't know. Um, because you, you ain't got to worry about it. If Aaron Rodgers leave and they go in the tank for some years after years after years, it will be changed. They'll stop. Yeah, they'll stop that. It will be process. changed. Yep. No, and I, and I don't think they ever gonna, gonna find. Yeah, it's gonna happen. They ain't gonna never I, find another Rizzo, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, they ain't gonna Rizzo, never find another Rizzo, Brett. Because I'm not too much in depth. I know the fans on the team, but there is an acting chair, somebody that's over that in points. It's a CEO. It's a CEO. They got a CEO. Is that the same as the GM? No, they got a CEO, and then they got this GM, which is whatever his name is, begin with a G. Whatever his name is, he got a funny name. Right. He, he, he the funny GM, name. but they have a CEO who is the one that's fighting for Aaron Rodgers to stay. You well, the CEO they, is the if he's the CEO, he has to put his foot you down. You remember that's when they is. said? You remember they said when Aaron Rodgers made this announcement, the CEO went that's to his, his house, the GM went to his house, and then the coach went to his house. So yes, right. they have a CEO. Mark Murphy is our CEO. I, I okay. didn't know he was the CEO. I just thought he was just in the front office. I didn't know oh, exactly yeah, no. what his title was. No, I, I, I could have sworn they had, but he, well, Mark Murphy has. And then it's Gutenfist, <laughs> that's our general manager. That's the one right. that everybody is calling for to be fired. The, the, that's I the one that Aaron Rodgers wants to fight, be fired. I think that what you should be doing, because it's not on the fans, I think you should just be questioning Mark Murphy. Let's question Mark Murphy. Let's question his leadership. Does he re- if he really wants Aaron Rodgers, get rid of your GM. If you okay, don't well, want Aaron Rodgers, let me ask you a question. 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 Go ahead. Let me ask you a question. Who put the CEO in there? The fans, right? Yeah. They yeah. the one who own the team. Mm-hmm. So blame the fans then. Let's be honest though. This is this Let's is blame happening. The fans. Like, let's take a pause. Because this happens in any corporation. Any corporation, big dog. If you know anything about the fan stocks and all that. You know that fans vote these people in. They do. <laughs> but the once the CEO is in there, it has to take a collective bond of fans or a collective people of fans to initiate this. This is moving, the Green Bay Packers move like a, a corporation. With the fans and all that and the people that's buying in, they move like a corporation because the fans are buying in and all that, like you said. So if the fans truly want this, they can move his one and remove Mike Murphy. I'm truly sure they can move his one and remove Mike Murphy from CEO because exactly like you said, they can vote him in. They can vote him out. They can vote him out on the board of directors. Well, apparently they don't see nothing wrong with Mike Murphy because he ain't going nowhere. I would look at it like this. If I if it's me yeah, and I'm finna lose Aaron, right, really. if it's me and I'm finna lose Aaron Rodgers, everybody fired. Everybody gone. If I got any stake in the Green That's Bay Packers, cool. I want the CEO fired. I want the general manager fired. We go start from the bottom and work our way back up. I want them all fired because there's no way in the world Aaron Rodgers should have been unhappy and ready to leave. I want yeah. them all gone. Your veteran quarterback who just won MVP. Yeah, he's bad. Like, I want them all fired. I, I would have fired every last one of them. Yeah, it's so. like they want this to happen to them. Like, why are y'all not fixing this? It's like they want See, him to this fail. Is, this is what I'm saying with y'all and Rizzo. This is what I'm saying. If you had an owner in place, the owner would have took care of all of this. Now you got the fans and they got to vote on this and we got to vote on it. that to it's get rid of somebody. No, no. If it was the owner and Aaron Rodgers was unhappy, what, what happened with Tom Brady and with the Patriots? He was unhappy that... Okay. uh. Uh, Belichick wanted uh, 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 Jimmy G and what happened? Jimmy G was traded from the owner. The owner traded Jimmy G. So Tom Brady didn't have to worry about that. Aaron Rodgers is on that same level. So my problem will be what's going on because if, uh, somebody need to make some votes or something to get rid of this CEO and get rid of the general manager and all that. Because like what Aaron Rodgers said, I want the general manager fired. Y'all not willing to fire him? I'm out of here. 
They should literally be kissing his ass right now. Honestly. Yes. Asking him yeah. what what do you what do you want? What do we need to improve this team so we can win the Super Bowl finally? Yep. Yep. I see what you mean by that. And it's telling crazy. this man to shut the hell up and go on out there and, and do his job and let me do my yeah. job. No, you don't talk to Aaron Rodgers like that. Are you crazy? No. That's why I said I wouldn't be mad if my if he left. I wouldn't yep. be mad at all. I guarantee you he leaves, they're gonna be firing somebody. Somebody losing their job. And we're gonna be trash. We will yep. be trash. Let him leave. Somebody but is getting fired in Green Bay. The number one, Aaron like no, number he's one, number two there. receiver. We'll be he ain't gonna be there. Aaron Rodgers ain't gonna be there. Man. Aaron Rodgers will be there. I think he's gone, man. So we have to see though. I think that was interesting that this was his first interview. Uh Kenny Main, um uh, definitely a legendary uh sportscaster for uh for Sports Center is leaving Sports Center. Um, so that's definitely uh, sad to see. He was definitely entertaining to watch. If you are uh, into sports and he, he could be. Uh, yeah, I don't like him and his man. crazy references. <laughs> yeah, he was. Um, so it's sad to see. Um, Aaron Rodgers said he was just here so he wouldn't get fined. Um, he used that line. He beat around the bush. I'm just going to make this analogy right fast. Aaron Rodgers wouldn't tell his answer. Um, and what's going on in uh, Green Bay, but Julio came flat out and just told, oh, I'm out of there. <laughs> why, Aaron Rodgers, why we can't get the truth from you? Why we can't get, oh, I'm out of there? Oh, why, why, oh, I'm, I'm staying. Well, it's uncertain. Why, why we can't get there, Aaron Rodgers? Well, Aaron Rodgers is in a different situation than Julio. Uh, also, Julio won out, Atlanta won him out. So it's mutual. With, with Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers went out, but Green Bay don't want to let him out. Aaron Rodgers still got, what, three years on his contract. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm they made he another point, too. They, they made another point, too, speaking of his contract. He was supposed to show up for that practice because it's in his contract. That's how he makes the additional money. So apparently Aaron Rodgers didn't give a damn about that money. What did that tell y'all? He didn't give a damn about losing that money. So that tells me the man is out the door. That's how I look at that. Because that practice would have got him paid, I think, $8 million or something like that. It was It's something with his incentive. That practice is one of his incentives. You see what I'm saying? So he didn't give a damn about losing that money. What that tell y'all? That tells me the man on his way out the door. He's trying to force his way out. Mm -hmm. Julio is in a different situation. Atlanta don't want Julio no more. So that's a different situation. That is you true. Know, that so. is true. I like how you put that. I like how you put that. Um, that is true. I just want to bring that up. Um, I'm just glad that we actually had an opportunity to hear from both of these guys because this has been the, the biggest trade. But the biggest news going on in the NFL offseason has definitely been entertaining. I've never seen so many big names be in so many different discussions of this matter. Let's, let's not forget how big the Russell Wilson one was for a second. Let's not forget that one. We, we don't know what's going on with Deshaun Watson. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I should have brought that up. Deshaun Watson still wants out of Texas. Yeah, he's he still, still wants out. Oh, oh, yeah, he course. still wants out. But that kind of went down the drain because of it. Yeah. That kind of yeah. went down the drain because of the matter he is in. Well, um, we, won't be, we'll be, we won't be discussing him too much this year because he's not going to be able to play. Yeah, he's, he's not going to be able to. Yeah. He's not going to be able to play. I mean, he's doing his offseason. He's practicing. He's doing all this. But he's not going to be able to play in the NFL game this yeah, year. So he's been they already said any day now or before the season start, you know, uh, Silva is going to have to come out. I think that's his name. Oh, no, uh, Roger Goodell is going to have to put him on the exempt list. Yeah, that's you what know? I'm Even if he so, does beat the charges or whatever, he's still that they can still yeah, release yeah. him because of bad press. Well, they're going to yeah. suspend. They say predict he will be suspended, uh, probably indefinite. So he can get his money before the case. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna get his money. Right. He's probably gonna put him on. Well, it. that was guaranteed anyway, right? Yeah, that's why they said. He, well, it's guaranteed if he gets suspended. If Roger put him on the exempt list, he gets his money. He gets all his money. Okay. That's so sad. it looks like that's the way it's gonna go because they could say it's no way they could put him on a football. It'll be bad for the NFL if they put him on the field this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, with all of this still going on, so he yeah. probably would not play a game this year. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't even convicted of nothing yet. No, <laughs> no crime, no nothing. It's not even a crime being 
Cause it's just job. all of it is just civil suits. It's civil, no criminal. Yeah, it's civil, it's, it's no criminal, criminal case. So yeah, I haven't yeah. been following it uh, closely. I, I really haven't been looking at any more updates. It's no it. need. I, I don't follow it because I don't like hearing a man being destroyed. I just so happened when y'all mentioned it, I heard today that he still, he did state that he still want out of the Texans. He still okay, wants to be cool, traded. Cool. And I will understand that. Um, yeah. Also, uh, you know, I was just talking about the big trade talks and the big name. That was a big name. Um, that was a big one. Um you know, well, Jerry uh, Jones messed that whole situation up. You know as well as I do, Jerry should have paid that man <laughs> because guess what? You end up paying him. As they say, this is the thing on Jerry Jones. He tried to negotiate. He's one of the worst negotiators you have ever seen. He always overpaid. What you mean? He, Jerry along, is a businessman. Hey, if you're doing your job, you deserve along. to get paid. Let me, now, let me, run, let me, let me, let me run it down to you. Get money back. He Tell overpaid. Get back. He <laughs> overpaid for the Dallas Cowboys because he wanted them so bad that he overpaid for the Dallas Cowboys. Honestly, big dog, okay. you're the highest earning team in it. In, in hold on, hold on, let me just period. finish. You deserve let me just finish. overpaid oh, people. You had a, hold on, you Thank had you, a sir. chance of paying Dak less money and end up paying him more than you wanted to pay him. You see what I'm saying? You could have ended up paying him no more than $37, $38 million, and you still end up paying him over $40 million a year, making him the second highest paid. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying. I think he's the number one highest paid right no, now. He's no, he's not. The Cowboys are the uh, yeah. most valuable team in sports history. Yeah, the most yeah, valuable they are, team. They That's are, what but I'm he's saying. Not, yeah. He's not the highest paid. No, Patrick Mahone is still the highest paid if you look at the 10-year contract. Patrick Mahone is still. But I'm talking the, about the year, year by year basis. Patrick oh, Mahone okay, is still okay, the okay, highest. Okay, okay, he's okay. number two, okay. and Deshaun Watson is number three. Okay, yeah, that's my bad. My yeah. bad. My bad. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. Man, I can't believe that. I forgot about Patrick. But yeah, um, yeah. but yeah, that, I'm just talking about the big news. Um, NFL offseason has def definitely been entertaining. You look at that. Um, you know the Drew Brees. Uh, you know him retiring. I mean. Philip Rivers well, you know, I already told you I made that call. He was retired yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. I made that call already to Mrs. Breeze. I knew he was going to retire. What she do? <laughs> she make the kids make him come home. I told you he was coming though. Yeah, he, he at the house. He at the house. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it, it's been a lot. I gotta say, if I'm reflecting on any offseason, this NFL offseason has been the most entertaining. Very much entertaining. Um, to to say the least, you you know we it's, really it's a shame. I want to give really y'all something. In on it. Yeah, I want to give y'all something that's very funny, and I don't know if y'all noticed this or not. Okay, of all of the no hitters, baseball still can't get that. Hold on, hold on. Baseball still can't get that limelight. It's not your time yet. Out of all the things that's going on in the NBA, we in playoffs, about to go to the the championship game. NBA still can't get that. Limelight, because get this, football, every time you look around, something happened, and it takes over the spotlight on the NBA. Don't you know Aaron Rodgers is going to be the biggest thing tomorrow morning on sports? Yeah, because after everybody going to be talking about it because he finally opened up his mouth and said something. They Watch and see what I tell y'all. After the game, after the games, usually they recap all the games. They were yep. doing an interview with Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah of so course. I'm, I know that's going to be the first thing, especially. It's going to be the first breaking news, Aaron Rodgers. Watch what I tell y'all. Oh, it's going to be Aaron Rodgers and Julio Jones, but I'm going to tell y'all, football oh, yeah. is going to overshadow base basketball tomorrow. Watch of what course. I tell y'all. Of course. That's, why, that's what I'm saying. This offseason has been so entertaining. Go ahead, Rizzo. But I, um, I was going to say Julio, too, but another thing I had wanted to bring up was just like how you were talking about Shannon Sharp when he called Julio on the phone and then tell him on the speakerphone. That's kind of like if Kenny Mayne is doing that interview with Aaron Rodgers and just say, hey, this is going to be on Sports Center. You no, know Aaron Rodgers knew that. Aaron about. Rodgers knew it. Or he no, wanted but, to but he knew that. He knew it. Example. He knew but, it. Yeah. But, yeah. but yeah. I'm just saying that changes the language of conversation. Right, because Aaron Rodgers knew what he was going to say and what he sure wasn't going to say. His PR yeah. people were like, "Look, don't don't talk about the team, don't talk about the GM, blah blah yep. blah, or his lawyer, whoever handles that part." 
Whereas yeah. Julio didn't get that chance. He didn't. Yeah. He didn't he get didn't. that chance. He didn't. That's why I was like, yeah. it was kind of unprofessional on Shannon Park just to do that. You know. Yeah. I want to know what how Julio feels about it. If you don't like, you know, on certain stuff like that, if you're gonna call him up, just go say Julio, man. You my boy. Can you come on and can we interview you? That's what I'm saying. That's why I said it was kind of unprofessional. I guarantee you, I guarantee you first take do it. They're gonna be interviewing them. Why? Yeah, they'll be interviewing them professionally. That's the only yep. thing that I'm saying. He, it was professionally, he'll be able to prepare for the things he can say. Like they go and tell him, mm -hmm. "Oh, don't say this, don't say that. Try not to do this, try not to do that, and stuff like that." Yep, yep. That's just my only thing on it. But uh, that wraps up. Well, yo, side. We had. I, I'm. I'm just say this. We had a lot to talk about. We came with it as always. And I, I, I think that we really delved into this episode, y'all. I think we really like tapped into our knowledge and tapped in and we went we went deep and read between the lines. So appreciate y'all again, Ripto Side. Appreciate you, big dog. Appreciate you, Rizzo. As always. So if you're not doing anything, make sure that you rep your side. Make sure that you like and subscribe this video. Appreciate you for watching and thanks for listening. As always, rep your side. All right.